What's up guys? We're back. It's Friday. So you know what time it is. Like, subscribe, comment, algorithm, that good stuff. What do I got for you today? Well, we were having a dearth of content. Dearth, that's a nice GRE word right there that I had to study for my graduate residency exam. It means a lack, which is weird because usually I get sent a bunch of stuff. You guys gotta step it up. So I went to all reliable TikTok and just started scrolling. And what did I find? This guy. This video is titled, Why Hormones Matter. And it's an ad that I came across. This is Dr. Jade Teta, female hormone expert. Hang on a second. Let's see what his credentials are. Is he an endocrinologist? Let's just go to the about section of his website. Ah, wouldn't you know it? He is a naturopathic doctor. Doctor. If you want to call yourself doctor, that's fine. But it has about the same meaning in terms of like physician as somebody who did their PhD in English. And actually, I would say that the PhD in English, it's actually a legitimate degree. So I would actually give them more weight than a natural path. I know a bunch of people are going to get mad at me, but there's very little actual like governance of what qualifies as a naturopathic doctor. And there may be good naturopaths out there, but I have yet to come across one because usually they say crazy shit like this. There's a reason he's, he doesn't disclose that he's a doctor of naturopathic medicine. He just calls himself a female hormone expert. You know what hormone experts are called? They're called endocrinologists. Okay, Jade? Anyway. I'm not gonna call you doctor. Shown that women with bigger bellies are more reactive to stress. Dr. Jade is the real deal. This guy is a leading hormone expert. And please do me a favor and just keep an open mind until he's done. Intense ex Hopefully your mind is so open that your brain falls out so that you'll give him money. Oh, here we go. He's gonna make some comments about intense exercise. Exercise and super low calorie diets spike your stress hormone cortisol. I have personally struggled with this. Too much cortisol. So he's saying intense exercise and low calorie diets spike your stress hormone cortisol. This is the same dumb shit that's been around for 20 years. Don't train too hard. It's going to spike cortisol. That's going to give you hormone imbalances. Do you know that you can just go and get your cortisol tested with a blood test? You don't have to give this guy your money. Just go and actually get tested. And if it's too high, then you go to an endocrinologist and they help you oh my gosh but then if there's not actually something wrong you don't have anything to blame your problems on and so many people who claim they have hormone issues never actually go get their hormones tested because if they did and they found out that their hormones were normal, they wouldn't have a nebulous thing to blame for all their problems. And if they find out they're not normal and can get them treated, they come back to problem A again, which is I no longer have an excuse. So this cockamamie idea of, well, just don't train hard because it's gonna spike your cortisol and that's gonna be a problem for your hormones. Okay, so we talked about cortisol. What other hormones? What other ones are out of balance? And how is, this hard training causing them to be out of balance. Now I'm not saying that you can't overdo training. You absolutely can. But there are other reasons that you'd want to avoid that other than just cortisol. In fact, in an analysis by Stu Phillips, the world's most cited exercise science researcher, he correlated muscle growth to exercise levels of various hormones. Cortisol, not testosterone, not IGF-1, not growth hormone, cortisol levels actually were the greatest predictor of hypertrophy. Why? Because workouts that cause the most cortisol release also are typically the most difficult, which induce the most adaptation. Again, I'm not saying you can't overdo training, but you would want to avoid that because it raises your risk for under recovering, for being overtrained and possibly getting injured. Not this mumbo jumbo. Cortisol makes every ounce an uphill battle. If you want results that last, you need to balance hormones. Why is no- Okay, so please explain to me what balancing hormones means. What is an objective definition of balanced hormones? If something can mean anything, it actually means nothing. No one else talking about how hormones- Take this 20 second- Wait, 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 wait. No one else is talking about hormones? Literally every person on TikTok is talking about hormones. What do they all have in common? None of them know what the 
they're actually talking about. Oh, take his 20-second hormone type quiz. What hormone type? There's cortisol, there's testosterone, there's estrogen. What do you mean type? Like what type are we talking about? Is there like a type of testosterone that I wasn't aware of? It's probably the type that this guy is on. Hormone type quiz, which gives you the best foods and activity for your hormone type. All right, we're done. There are no best foods for your hormone type. Hormone type is a made up term by this guy to charge you money to do whatever his program is, where he gives you random ass foods based on your hormone type so that you feel like you're getting something special. Don't buy into this. It is not supported by science. There is nothing scientific to back up anything he said in this video. And may God have mercy on his soul. All right, guys, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Catch you next week.